This is a regulated power supply in a Yamaha CR1020. You can see the protection relay going nuts there. And the uh, amplifiers are going nuts. And this uh, negative regulator here is hurting. It's intermittent. It was definitely due to a driver transistor. Somebody was in here before and they replaced the series pass regulator with an underrated device. That got hurt. And the immediate driver transistor behind it got hurt, which I replaced next to that orange capacitor there. And it was really pissed off until I hit the uh, the devices there, the slant backs there, with freeze mist. So those are going to get changed out. Then we'll try it again. Right now it's quiet. I might turn the speaker back on. No. Yeah. I got no sound no more. No sound at all. Here's before I had it, so it must have had a hard failure. Also, the uh, tuner has gotten wonky. Look at that. Let's, uh, I'm kind of curious. <clears throat> Let's see what the power supply is doing. If I can get a place to clip onto ground here. I guess this will. Uh, that'll do for the moment. So let's see here. The 10 volts there, that's a little low. The 26 volts there, that's normal. I've only got 10 volts there, I'm supposed to have a negative voltage. Whoops! Something died. All right, so we'll come back to this one. I want you all to see something here. My camera will focus on it. If I can stop shaking for a second. This transistor tested as defective. There's a reason for that. It has what's called the beach disease. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit here. Come on, focus. I'm just going to set this down so I can hold the damn camera still. Oh, come on. Anyway. See those little white deposits around the leads? Those are saltwater deposits. This machines live near the beach. What happens is, is that if dew point settles in, the maritime air settles. And because of the electric currents going through the leads, the little bit of electrolysis with the saltwater air forms on the base of the transistor, and it leaves those little deposits. And the deposits arc. Now, the man who first told me about this, Fred Longworth, uh, would just scrape them off and put it back in, and it worked for a while. And I tried doing that, and it did work for a little while, but you know, a year or two later it would come back with the same problem. It's because of the composition of the plastic, there's a higher tendency to stick. You replace it with a transistor of a different package style, and that problem goes away. So, that's just a little bit of interesting information for you. The beach disease is what we call it. And it was arcing between the collector and emitter junction, and eventually it got so severe that it caused the transistor to open, which is why we lost our power supply voltage. So I'm going to replace that, and very likely this Yamaha will get cracking again. Okay, so we've replaced the two driver transistors for the series pass regulator. See them in there if the camera will focus. 
Originally a 2SA-844, replaced them with uh, MPSA-56s, which are actually great little beefy devices. Seem to be getting harder to get a hold of, at least the genuine ones anyway. So now, you can see on the scope, the, this is our power supply for the minus 26 volt side, which is absolutely, utterly clean. Now when I turn the volume up, I get sound. That's the right channel there. And if I come to with my meter, I get minus 26. That's the 40 going in, and then I get plus 27, so that's pretty good. And then we'll hook our probe up to our load box, crank it up a little bit. You can see there that we've got uh, nice clean looking sine wave, no garbage. So this thing's fixed. I don't much care for these Yamahas, but people like them so I service them. This one's had a pretty rough life. Definitely lived by the ocean. Got the rust on the transformer. Somebody took the time to polish all the jacks on the back, so it must have been an eBay flip. Somebody was previously in here, and you see the green Zycon capacitors they replaced there. And they did replace the series pass regulators, but one of them was a counterfeit this piece of junk here. Not a Toshiba device. And it was uh, breaking down at about 30 volts. So, it's fixed. It's a very interesting failure having to do with beach disease which is basically salt water air deposits on the transistors, accumulates on the base where the leads protrude and create leakage paths which cause transients and breakdown. And it actually failed in our test. The transistor opened from a short circuit overload. But uh, as you can see, it's working great now. The so next time you see a machine that's got rust on it, keep that in mind, the beach disease. Uh, it tends to happen on the uh, more on the old school kind of trapezoidal transistor designs, kind of like that guy there. So, like the 2SC1345, the 2SA673, 844, 2SC458s, which die anyways, they all have a higher tendency to get those deposits than other transistors do. But, uh, Without knowing that information, you could be chasing around a noise problem in an amplifier or power supply for hours. Anyway, um, just thought I'd share the video with you. Thanks for watching. More to come.